Hello and welcome to another video from Alberta Bushcrafter. Um, this one is going to be an unboxing and kind of a special one at that. See over Christmas I bought a couple of knives. I bought this little Mora carpenter knife. This is from my toolbox, just a stainless steel knife. Um, I also bought one last summer. This is just a Winchester buck knife. Absolutely beautiful grain on the handle of this. But I bought it last summer for experimenting with because it was only like 25 bucks and I got it on sale at that. The reason I bought it for experimenting was well I was doing work on the axes and especially the S-wing hatchet and doing some bluing and I thought I could do it do this one as well. Not so much. This blade doesn't seem to take bluing at all so I don't know it looked really good. But Another part of the story is I thrashed up my really, really old, like 20-year-old machete this year. I actually was cutting where there were some rocks. And I was expecting to do a, a couple of nicks and so on, but I took some serious nicks out of the blade. So it was time to get something else for the bush, not for whacking stuff around the yard. So this is an unboxing. We'll get to the actual product in a minute. I was reading some articles. Uh, the time I'm shooting this video right now, Target in Canada is pulling out. They're going down. A number of other retailers are closing their stores. And that begs the question in Canada here, what about uh, online retailers? Well, online retail is increasing at something like 17% a year in this country, but it's nowhere near where the United States is. In Canada, we don't buy a lot of stuff online because the supply is not as good. And we can't buy from the States a lot of the times so we get hit by customs. And that can be a significant, it can be 20% of the cost of your goods, which is just ridiculous. So the big exception, and that's why they're the number one online retailer, is Amazon.ca. There's some good products there, a lot of great brand name products. There's also some cheap stuff out of Asia. There's also some weird stores there. I've seen, for example, there's a cookbook I was looking for. Uh, I've seen it for 17, 18, 19, 20. Then I've seen it for 75 for the same cookbook, which is ridiculous. So again, buyer beware. If you're on Amazon.ca, don't get ripped off. There are some shysters out there. But this one I found, it's usually about $38 in the States. And it was 40, 41 here, which is really good. And so I actually don't buy knives like these, but here we go. This is a Kershaw. It's not just any Kershaw. I've never had a knife this big. I've had machetes and so on, but never this big. This is a... Uh, right out of the box. Of course, I've done my homework. This is a Kershaw Camp 10. This is a big blade. So let's go into it. Let's take a look. I, I will admit I've had it out, played around with it and stuff. But that's a blade. That is a real blade. That's a 10 inch blade, 16 inch overall. It is a full tang, which is something I really like in a knife. It makes it really sturdy. Let's see, there's it's a modified kukri style knife so there's quite a belly here as you can see great edge this will cut paper right out of the box like it's very sharp not quite as sharp as I like I could go a little more I got another tool I'll show you guys I'm going to be doing another video on at the end of this one but very nice blade let's take a look uh, the type of steel on this it's a 3 8 inch wide blade so Seen demonstrations on this. I will shoot another video with me. Actually doing some work with this sometime. Probably later in the spring. 3 8 of an inch blade. 
there's a lot of momentum and a lot of mass to this blade. It weighs about a pound. So great for splitting and chopping. Kershaw themselves do recommend that if you need to cut down a tree, buy one of their axes, which is good. They've got one very close to the S-Wing. Let's just see, though. Like I said, I, I, I'm really liking the feel of this. So we'll get a close-up on the handle. Nice edge. It is a, I've heard it alternately described as a MN65 or 65MN or, 65 or 1065 high carbon steel. Uh, very close to a 1075 carbon steel. I've also heard people say and seen other reviews that it's as good as the Condor knives. It's not quite a um, you know, so it's not quite as great as the really high-end ones, but hey, it's 40 bucks. Let's get a close-up though. And there's more to show you about this, but let's get a close-up of the handle, which I really like. So it's a rubberized grip here, but you've also got a lanyard hole in the back and in the front. And I'm going to try. I've never had a blade with a lanyard hole in the front. Very solid handle, medium to large hands. And generally, an overall, good blade. It doesn't pass all the requirements that the Pathfinder School talks about. It is six inches, it's full tang, it's carbon steel, but it's also powder coated. So if you look at the edge here, yeah, you might have trouble getting a spark off that with a fire steel and I don't want to take the powder coating off the edge because I've heard you know you do that with this it might rust so that's the knife I'm going to have some fun and I've seen several videos on YouTube and liked a few of them that show this thing in action and it is quite a chopper but it actually is pretty good for detail work too you're not going to carve with this thing but you're certainly um, going to have no problem cutting feather sticks and so on. Let's look at the other bit which I really really like about this knife. Let's see. Is right. This is a I don't know exactly what type of material it, it, it it's it's not kydex for sure. But you take a look the knife is secured by this web strap and a big heavy snap on it and that's not going anywhere you can see it rattles a bit but it's not coming out now the really cool thing is um, and it's one heck of an added bonus it's not just the knife it's the sheath let's get a close up here you can actually see there's a number of holes for paracord. You can wrap it with paracord, you can string it through. Also good depending on how you carry it for strapping it lower down your leg. Now the other side, you've actually got a couple of options here. This is the belt loop and this is for a high carry so right above your belt. You can also adjust these straps so the belt loop will come up here as a drop carry. So you carry it lower down and then maybe put a paracord, a piece of paracord through here and strap it to your leg. The straps are reversible so you can uh, carry it left or right handed. But the other neat thing is there's a bit of real estate in here for a horizontal carry on your belt. I had also heard from several reviewers and so on that Yes, this will work really good with Molly gear and so on. Well, I tested this out in my, my big pack and, well, I would say with reservations. If you take these straps off and actually use the regular Molly straps, yeah, not a problem. You can carry this many different con configurations on your pack. But these straps as they are, a little too wide to go through the actual loops on a pack. But I will have fun. I've got a few extras. I'm going to have some fun figuring out how to weave this baby in there so it'll actually sit in the pack real nice. 
on the outside. So, very, very nice knife. And for 40 bucks, it's worth it. This is a really serious workhorse of a blade. Yeah, I feel like Crocodile Dundee here. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Yeah, okay. It's been many, many years since I tried out my Australian accent. Needs work. But yeah, that's a knife. This is a serious piece of gear. Uh, the one thing is, not for ultralighters. It is a big, heavy blade. It's about a pound. It's, uh, and it's supposed to. It's got some heft to it. This weighs about as much as my big 20-inch machete that's kind of beaten up. So, once again, I am going to have fun trying this thing out in the spring. But this is a start. This is a great, um, really, if you don't want to carry a full axe, this is a great chopping tool. The other thing is, carry a buck saw, though, if you want to cut through a tree. You know, and this baton, this, this will hold up the serious batoning. It is just one solid piece of gear. The other thing is, Kershaw themselves has one heck of a warranty. You send the knife to them, mostly in the States. I wouldn't do this in Canada. But you send them the knife, they will sharpen it for you. Um, yeah, the warranty is really great with them as well. So, there's another plus. A lot of good knife companies are doing that, though. They're realizing that warranty is a big part of your reason for purchasing something. So, here we go. One last shot. Now, I will be touching this up a bit, and I have a, I don't know if you're going to call it a belated Christmas gift. Actually, it's not, because I bought it on, you know, the Boxing Week sales. I will be probably putting this one through its paces. I will be sharpening several of my knives with a new, uh, this is going to be a teaser. I'm sorry, folks, if you get PO'd by this, but yeah, there's the uh, gearbox. That was the Coleman stove you just saw a video on. But yeah, there's a new tool I picked up. This was really an impulse buy because it was significantly reduced at Cabela's, but you will see this very soon. I bought a WorkSharp. This is the WorkSharp uh, knife and tool sharpener. This is the Can Onion edition, so this one's worth buying. And uh, usually it's in the $200 range. I paid just about half that. You will see a video on this, but it's got to have a topic of its own devoted to it. This is a marvelous piece of gear. All right, I have rambled on enough. Um, I guess a number of different topics today, plus teasing you guys a bit. Anyways, Kershaw, Camp 10. Marvelous knife. You can see other reviews. I've actually liked several of them. Uh, actually, one or two of the Camp 10, but several... Uh, other reviews you'll see me liking them from time to time uh, it's 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 just what we do anyways this is the Alberta Bush Crafter channel my name is Dean I want to thank you very much for watching take care and good day